Tonight, a city in mourning. People who live and work in Warwick trying to come to terms with a terrible tragedy after a small child and a man were found dead inside a home in an apparent murder-suicide. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Our Kayla Fish joins us from the city now. And Kayla, many have called this a dark and horrific day for Warwick. Yeah, that's right, Mike and Shannon, and it is. I spoke with Father Robert Marciano, who called this senseless. He says he spent the day talking to and comforting the victim's family, police and firefighters, school officials here in Warwick, even the mayor. He says everyone is heartbroken by what happened here on Frawley Street. It's hard to process. It's a tragedy. Father Robert Marciano is the chaplain of the Warwick Police and Fire Departments. He went with first responders Thursday morning to a domestic disturbance on Frawley Street. This morning saw a great tragedy, but we saw greater heroes in our first responders. At the scene, officers found a young child who had been shot and killed. They also found the body of an adult man. Police are investigating it as a murder-suicide. The child, whose identity hasn't been released, was a student at Warwick Early Learning Center. Father Marciano tells me he spoke to the child's mother. It's a mother's nightmare for any child to die, but for a child to die in this manner is, is something that is life-changing for her. I kept telling her, you're not alone. You know, we're here for you, your family's here for you, but also the community will help you get through this with faith. Father Marciano also went with family to tell the young victim's older brother his sibling had passed. He says the boy's uncle had this message. He's with the angels. We won't see him anymore, but he's with us always. He says tragic events like this take a toll on first responders who deal with a range of emotions. They have little guys in their homes, you know, they're young. Father Marciano had this message for officers and those in the community struggling to comprehend this senseless and unimaginable act. Uh, go home and hug your children, you know, tell your wife or husband that you love them or her. He says those affected can get through together by leaning on those around them. Senseless as this is, love triumphs tragedy. And Warwick Police Chief Brad Connor told me they'll continue to monitor the well-being of everyone who responded to this scene today as tragedies like this hit everyone differently at different times. He also said that the police will continue to work with DCYF to ensure that the victim's family has everything they need service-wise moving forward. And we're also told that there will be supports at the Warwick schools in the days moving forward as well. That's the latest live in Warwick tonight. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.